Welcome back. This is the back 11 of round one of the 2024 Long Island Open presented by Long Island Disc Golf and Heiser Media. I am Adam Walsh along with Mike Burrell. What's going on, Adam? How are you? Enjoying it. And we appreciate you coming back to us here at Hexer mm -hmm. Forest Disc Golf Course. Round one left us with Josiah and Antonio mm -hmm. two under, Phil one under, and Josh plus three. Uh, but you're going to want to take a look at that first round if you haven't already. Uh, a couple of pretty bad breaks for Josh there. Hopefully things turn around. We've got Hutch and Zach Spire joining the leaders at two under, a few more at one under, and everybody else still fighting. A lot of golf to play. We're going to kick the video off on hole 11. Mike, what is your play here on hole 11? So we got, you know, 400 foot hole, but big, big open uh, starting. And then you have to cut into a fairly tight tunnel on the right hand side. So if you have a really good kind of touch with a forehand, it's the, you know, a, a nice option or the turnover just kind of placed perfectly into that tunnel any wind and you go early it's rough and you go late it's rougher yep and it looks like phil showed you the early rough let's see if josiah can make the adjustment starts it way out to the left if he got the distance right he's gonna like it cut the corner a little short but uh might have himself a, a window to the basket antonio will show us the forehand high high forehand and perfect. And it'll work. That's your normal landing spot there, Mike? Not, not even a little. <laughs> Josh going to follow up with the forehand. Hopefully the wind is serving well for that. It looks like it's cutting in. And perfect as well. Great start. Great showing from the forehands. Backhands came up uh, needing a little bit more. Phil looking like he can find a way through the trees, back to the fairway. Seems to have done most of it. Should have an easy up and down. And Josiah should have a look here to to push it up towards the basket and give himself a chance at the birdie. Not bad. He's made it to about pin high. And uh, really well done from that, from that lie. Fill the clean up the up and down. Walk away with the par and hit mm. the only tree he needed to miss. He's going to be a little disappointed in that. Antonio slides it up to the basket, and Josh is going to look to do the same. Beautiful. This is one of those touchy feast or famine holes where, you know, we've seen it go bogey and double bogey, and we've seen it eagled by locals. Like, it's a rough one. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a very fundamental two-shot hole. You can get aggressive off the tee, but sometimes you get bit. Josiah making a nice putt from just about the edge of the circle there. And Antonio needs to straddle around that tree, but it doesn't cause him enough difficulty to make it a problem. And Phil's going to look to clean this up here. Well done. My apologies, Phil. I miscounted. And Josh able to grab a birdie and start hacking away at some of those extra strokes. <clears throat> to your point, we had birdies, birdies and bogeys on the hole. Hole 12, much more straightforward, 263 feet, right down a narrow tunnel with a soft finish on the left. Possible ace runs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Josiah seemed to learn how to skip a disc in the opposite direction. <laughs> Very cool trick. Antonio will uh, probably show us a more traditional line down the right-hand side. Soft finish to the left. That's pretty nice. Left it, uh, I left it nowhere. Left it just fine. It was a beautiful drive. Phil 
think that one may have slipped out just a little early for Josh. He's going to be early on the left-hand side and have quite a bit of work to do to, to try to secure the par from there. Phil with a high, flat, soft finish, skip up. And it seems like he ran well past the basket. That's a, that's a terrific drive. Hopefully he can make good on the putt from there. Josh somehow kicked all the way over to the right-hand side. Um, yeah, he bounced very tricky straight shot. across the fairway. Very tricky shot there. Oof. Did he catch from tree there? Looks like a little bit of branch, yeah. Tough distance. It's a big drive. Great putt there from Josh. Cleans up the par. Preserves that birdie from hole 11. And Antonio makes good. Great birdie there. Josiah, after one of the longest anti-skips ever recorded on film. I didn't realize on that bounce that he got all the way pinned deep. All the way down there. Keeping it neck and neck with Antonio and Josiah still. Yep. And Phil tapping in a disappointing par. But that'll happen. Hole 13. Uh, we're going to look to to really get some good distance off the tee here. It's going to be a long power backhand turnover or a big monster forehand. Set you up for a pretty straight shot with a left-hand finish. Should see some good flights here. Josiah seemed perhaps a little low out of the hand, but he caught some really good turn. Slight cut roll, red tee. That's good enough. Antonio, I'm going to perhaps put a little more height on this one. Uh, instead, a little less height. Similar result to Josiah, just a little behind. He'll have a chance to run for the basket from there, but it's going to be a long second shot. He did stay clean, though. He didn't go into the woods, which is nice. Absolutely. This is the hole I learned the term army golf. That mm. is playing to the left, to the right, to the left. To the right. Josh the avoiding that right. by putting it in the fairway. Phil starts it out high and right down the middle, catches a good drift and a pretty favorable uh, check skip there. Antonio from way back, about 50 short of the red tee, looking to send something long and straight. Probably just a touch more turn than he needed, but he did eat up a lot of the fairway. Should have a... Pretty close to pin deep. Yep, should have a chance for an outside putt, if not a pretty pretty routine up and down. Josiah looking good. Thinks it's going to finish left. Calling for the ace, perhaps, or the throw-in, rather. Stops it short. Great up shot. And Phil from the right-hand side of the fairway gets something turning initially. Finishes flat. Skips up. Pin high-ish. Yeah, yeah, that's a great drive. And by drive, of course, I mean second shot. Josh from the right-hand side of the fairway going back to the forehand. Gets it caught up a little high and early. Finishes off to the right. Hopefully can work this out of the rough and back over to the basket. He very much did. Very much did. I think he caught metal on the pole there. Yeah. Can't ask for much more than that. Antonio giving it a bid. Coming in a little hot. Should be close enough to make the comeback without too much trouble. It's not a common hole for birdies. No. No, it's not. And uh, it's a shame because, again, it's another hole where it's it's there. Two shots should give you a clean look, but lots of wind to contend with. And just getting a little bit off the fairway into the rough on the left or the right could spell disaster. I say any round where you have a whole card stay in the fairway the whole time is a success. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. What do you feel about whole 14 here? 14 is one of the more simple traditional, you know, just it's a big open field, a little bit of a tunnel at the end, 485 feet, and just kind of, you know, plays pretty straightforward. Yeah, it's good to see the big drives here. Josiah doing well to leave it in the middle. Wind can mess with you on this clip. Yeah, it's usually not doing what you're feeling on the tee box. Uh, it's a big field. Okay. Lots of things happen. Phil <laughs> finishes with a big skip, but he'll like where he lands. We should say there is OB on the left, but it doesn't. It's it's far enough away. It's not a huge concern. Yeah, well, there's OB on the right too, and mm. uh, with the wind doing what it can do. I've got a feeling a few people turned him over, got him drifting out to the right and found themselves in trouble there. Uh, I know because I did. That looks like it's got enough strength to finish up. He is testing it. Ooh, he's beat the OB. He's beat the OB. He's not gonna love the position. It might be more of a, a placement shot from there. Just a little chip out to give himself a chance to get up and down. Josiah's got the low ceiling to contend with, forces him into the ground a little bit early, does get a good forward slide, and is going to have a very open look at the basket for the birdie. Phil's a little bit over to the left from the entrance, so he's going to have to skip something up there, catches the rough on the right-hand side, is going to leave him a little bit short. Josh is looking to cut the corner here. Mm, that's Wanted dense to in work. There. I really wanted it to work out for him, but that is a dangerous dangerous rough over there yeah that's vines thorns and all sorts of stuff you don't want to be in absolutely antonio trying to will the disc a little further up the fairway but he'll have him pretty clean looking putt there and josh continues to struggle uh down the the right hand uh, rough there phil with a chance oh oh uh, Catching a lot of metal, but not the right part of the basket. And Josh with a very unconventional par. I'm very happy to see him uh, find the basket there. Yeah. And I would have liked to have seen Antonio finish that. Josiah does. So we've got birdies, we've got pars, and we got to see a few very creative routes to the basket there. Tough hole, but uh, while the while the rough on the left and the right hand side of hole 14 was very generous, I don't know if I can say the same about hole 15. Hole 15 is. Another par four. What were you going to say there, Mike? I, say, I think the next two holes were uh, punishing enough for, for for making up for the rest of the course. <laughs> Absolutely. So Josiah's going to tee off here on 15. He's got to miss the, the, the uh, OB on the left and the right. He's looking for a landing zone that looks very close to where he's thrown it. That is just an absolutely fantastic turnover drive. Very controlled. Put himself in the center of the fairway. Should have a good look at the forehand through the gap up to the basket for the birdie. Phil's going to fly more the right-hand side of the fairway and let something hyzer back to the middle. That should be very safe. He'll have a, a, a clean approach to the basket, just a little bit longer than Josiah's. Antonio gets it flat. He's finishing out. Similar to where Phil is, again, no no danger over there. He'll step out with the forehand from the from the left hand rough there. But no OB should have a chance. And Josh taking the forehand approach off the tee. That looks good. That's gonna put him in a, a really clean position for his second shot. Yeah, they all play this very controlled. It's Absolutely. rough because a lot of times the wind in that first half of that field is not the same as that tunnel. And so no. It, it changes abruptly. No, that's a great point. Phil trying to get the backhand turnover. I'm sorry, he laid down the roller. Mm. Very clever. The tall grass there had other things to say about it, but he did get to pin high. And uh, just a really 
really high skill level shot there to see. Antonio looks like that step out from the rough was just enough to give him some trouble. Put it a little low. And Josh will attempt a more traditional forehand through the gap. Catches the uh, the right side guardians there. Rolls out to a good position. Should have an easy up and down to save the par. And let's see if Josiah, from really just a prime landing zone, can he skip one up there close to the basket? He can. Uh, yeah. He sure can. Antonio's going to want to get this up close, walk away with a par, not have to think about it too much. And unfortunately, I think he's got a little bit to think about there. I like his chances to make the putt, but it's longer than he wants it to be. Josh does well to get it up there. And Phil following the really nice looking roller on the second shot. I think that got the wind under it a little bit, kept it up and over the basket. Antonio from a similar position, able to cash it. You can just hear the wind picking up in that spot. You can see the branches moving and everything. It was it was definitely, I mean, it's Long Island. It's going to be windy. We know this. Um, and there was, there was certainly enough of it that day. It will be windy, but it won't be consistent. That's the best part. It's a great putt there from Josh. Uh, jump in the comments. Let me know if you saw that the chain was hooked up there by, uh, before he took that putt. Let me know if you would have went and fixed that chain before you putt. And Josiah takes the birdie. Yeah, that was just a really clinical clinical play from him there. You got home 16 for us here? I mean, this is, I think, probably the one that cost the most people uh, penalty strokes with OB. We've got OB left, OB right narrow fairway with 450 feet and an open field so plenty of wind nobody was happy about this one no and and these guys with their distance are going to be trying to push it down close to the basket and it's going to force them force them to make some mistakes and let's see what we've got here josiah makes the correct mistake he gets it long and left there's no danger over there uh should be a, a pretty easy up and down let's see what phil's got It's flattened right out of the hand. Does it have the strength to finish? It doesn't. Just shy. Just shy. It either needed a little more height or a little more hyzer. He's going to be throwing his third shot from pretty far back as well. So hopefully he can uh, mm. put it close and walk away. Antonio opting for that left-hand side. I suppose he cut through to the safe. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to see that. That was really close. And Josh will round out the card here. Starts it right down the middle of the fairway. Looks good. If it's long, it's safe. And it is long and it is safe. That's great. That's probably the closest of the bunch. Uh, hopefully he has a chance. And Phil from about a third of the way up the fairway. Does well to get it up there, but he'll have a, about a circle's edge putt tester to take his bogey and walk away. Josiah goes a little long. Yeah, I couldn't see that one finish there. Antonio from the left-hand fairway gets it up there. I think that was a very well-executed upshot. And Josh coming out of the trees does well enough to put it up near the basket. He'll walk away with a par. All right, he made it work. Yeah, good call there. Went a little long, had to take the knee, but didn't let it bother him. Made the putt. And that's a great, great high pressure putt there for Phil, uh, for Phil rather. over to hole 17 hole 17 par 3 406 uh very very difficult two um we're gonna see a lot of folks play a, a placement shot up to the 
fairway just beyond the center tree there and then pitch through the gap. But every now and again, somebody pushes something up and through the uh, tunnel, gives himself a chance. Josiah's done a lot of it. If it can miss a few things here, he's going to have a chance. <laughs> Gets caught up a little bit early, but uh, outside look at the two, really well done off the tee. Antonio looks like he's going to use that right-hand fairway. Nice release. Got it pushing flat. Might have turned it over just a little bit. He's going to finish up close to the gap. Should have a fairly routine up and down from there. Josh gets it up to flat and flying. He's going to test that right-hand side. There is some room over there. If it pushes far enough up, he should have an okay up and down. And we'll see Phil bring up the back of the box here and see if we can get something flying in through the tree line, push the green, give himself a chance at the two. That's about right. Probably a little bit on the short side. Skips hard off to the left. Nobody's really uh, accessed the green here. We're going to see a few uh, tricky shots through some trees. Try to put it close. I don't yeah. think I've personally ever seen a two on this one that wasn't a circle two or further like throw in. Yeah, it's the, for the distance, you kind of have to get something flat. And if you get it flat, there's a good chance you get it turning. If you get it turning, you miss off to the right. Yeah. So it's a big ask to try to push something up here to the green through the tree line. Phil from way outside gives it a chance. Comes up just a bit short under the basket. Yeah, see, you know, Josh got enough distance here for it to be a, a circle putt. Just couldn't find the center of the fairway for it. And we'll have some cleanups here. Yeah, no, you're not going to see a lot of twos on this hole. You're, you're really just hoping not to find a four. Or a five. We didn't even mention that there's OB deep on it, too. True. True. Too. 18 is 345. Again, kind of a straight line, but you've got a lot of really thick stuff on the left-hand side, and the road on the right-hand side is OB, so you kind of have to play it careful. Absolutely. Left is natural danger. Right is an OB line. You really just want to fly it just down the line. Josiah's put it on. Give yourself a soft finish back to the left and be very close to the basket. Looks like he might have even pushed it just a little bit deep there, but he should have a chance. Antonio following suit. A little bit more hyzer on it. Caught that last set of bunker trees there. He's going to be at about 60 or 70 feet, I think. Let's see what Josh can find. Gets it up a little higher. Controlled the distance really well. He's on the green and putting. That's a fantastic drive. Yeah. And Phil with the fourth backhand. It's really the, the best and only option here. Little on the shorthand side. He's pushed the corner of the rough, so he'll be staring straight at the basket, probably just outside the circle. Antonio from deep in circle two. Doesn't like it out of the hand. Never really uh, never really got it flat enough to find the basket. Phil from just outside the circle comes up a little bit short as well. Josiah, who's gone long of the basket, coming back from uh, just inside the circle. And makes good. He gets it. And Josh with the CTP, but still well outside uh, the bullseye here. Oh. 
finds the top nubs. Antonio cleans up the par. I suspect Phil and Josh will do the same. Yeah, tough, tough hole. Slightly tough hole for the card there. Good to see uh, Josiah get the birdie. Hole 19, uh, similar distance at 343 feet, par three. Uh, OB down the right-hand side, outside the road. We want to give that road skip an option. The road skip down the right-hand side is a great way to try to find yourself in the circle for the two. You can also shoot up the middle. So you, you pretty much have three gaps that you see there. Uh, this is the more traditional right-hand gap, probably a little inside. Uh, to push the green, but he's found himself right about circle's edge. Should be un un unobstructed from there. Antonio taking the right-hand gap. I think he's looking for that road skip. He's got it, but it's pushed very, very, very far forward. He's actually probably long of the basket. Yep. Probably a good amount, uh, yeah. 50 feet coming back at it. Pretty good drive. Not a bad problem to have, but... <laughs> Not at all. He missed all the scary stuff. Josh choosing that outside gap as well. Hopefully catching the road skip. Did not. And wow. unfortunately, instead of the road, he found the right side grass, which is where the OB line lives. We'll see if Phil can clean that up. Everybody going with that outside route. Phil catches the road skip, swings it back towards the basket. And Beautiful. that is exactly how you draw it up. Josh sending a big effort from, from way outside circle two. Antonio about 50 feet, a little bit left. I'm hoping he straightens that out. That's a couple that just kind of drifted off on him there. Phil with a really nice birdie. Anyone on your card, Mike, decide to try to play it up the middle? Uh, you know, I don't know if they tried to. There were a couple that went up the middle. I don't know if that was always the plan, but we had a we had a couple looks that way. Myself included. I've seen I've seen it hit in the past. It's a it's a much more difficult way to access the green, but when you do, it's very pretty. Uh, Josiah makes good on the birdie, and hopefully Josh can find his way into the basket here. Again, just uh, one of those days where he's, he's having a hard time with the chains. Yeah, it looked like he caught a lot of metal there, slid through the chains, a little left-hand side. Um, not all going to stay. All there is to it. Hole 20. Tight fairway. No OB, but plenty of drama. Uh, no OB down the fairway, I should say. We've got an OB river. We're playing this in the long par 5 position. So you'll see the road right there plays as a river OB, which wraps all the way around the back right-hand side of the green, and OB all the way around the left-hand side of the green and behind the basket just to make it extra hard. Off the tee, you're looking to get about halfway down. What you see here is the original fairway. Uh, Josiah seems to have done just that. Uh, I don't think the distance is promoting people going for the eagle. Um, we may take a look at that next year, see if there's something we can do to put people in a, a better risk reward situation. But, uh, what I do like about the hole is that it is just a narrow demanding distance all the way down on every shot. You do have to be very thoughtful of your left and your right. And eventually you're long and you're short. And I think that makes for a, for a fun and exciting variation on the hole. Josh looking to lay down the roller here. I'd love to see this stand up, but it looked like it just had a little too much cut. He's made good distance, but he's probably looking at a pitch out from there. I really like the aggressive play. Antonio's going to be looking to push this up as close to the road as possible without touching it. Seems to have done just that. Should have a good angle to attack the, the basket across the road from there. And Phil will be looking to do something very similar. Looks to be leaving it in the middle. 
just needs to nestle up and that's just about perfect. That's that hard position that some of them wind up in that you go, you know, do I chance and try to get over or do I pull it short and, you know, not mess with the river? It's it's tricky. I yeah. saw a couple people on my card push it and take double bogeys because of it. Yep, absolutely. It's very easy to play for position and still not find yourself in the position you were playing for. Um, Josh was looking here on that last shot just to get back out into the fairway, caught edge, rolled into the right side rough, had to pitch back out. Uh, should be in a good position to get up and down from there. Josiah low out of the hand. I'm sure he found the uh, the inbounds, but he's going to be well short of the basket. Probably just have to lay up from there. Antonio Ooh. giving it a chance, looking to push it close, and really does nicely. Uh, great measure distance there. And Josh, with the, with the chance to get it over to the basket here, I really am oh. rooting for him. The, the low branches hanging over eat up a lot of the airspace there. So you Something that's hard to, to tell from the video, too, is that that grass it, around that basket it is caught just... me off guard. It caught me off guard, too, but you really need more of a flexing line there to, to navigate that, that low-hanging branch that Josiah is under yeah. now. Ooh. Pretty routine chip from there. Put it right up under the basket. Bounced off the lighthouse. And uh, hopefully Josh can put this one nice and close. Looks like he did. Although I, I will say elevated basket adds to the difficulty every time. Bill makes good from right around the edge of the circle. Great birdie. Well played hole. And Josh with a great putt. Josiah making a putt even with the dog walking in the background. <laughs> black, black cats are bad luck. Black dogs are good luck. That'll walk us over to hole 21 which is going to be the final hole of the first round of the 2024 LIO. It's 422 feet. It's dead ahead of you. There is no OB. Just get down there. What could be easier, right? Something without this many trees and wind. <laughs> uh, Phil does a good job to keep it under the ceiling. Drifts it a little bit off to the right. Uh, does well there. He'll have a Fairly routine upshot. Antonio starts this one down the left-hand side. Seems to have maybe just a bit too much turn. Catches a low-hanging branch and falls down in the middle of the fairway. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to go ahead and assume this was playing with a... A bit of a bit of a headwind seems to be. Thinking the same. Our guys point. are turning them over a little more than they need to be. Josh might have corrected for that. That's an absolutely fantastic drive. Whoa. Scares the basket. Uh, I'm going to say he landed that disc closer to the basket than I've I've seen in person. That was an absolutely terrific drive. I, I challenge you to head on out to our course, stand on hole 21, and throw it any closer than that. Good upshot from Antonio, too. Josiah swings one out wide, plays the win, plays the stability, and does miss the measurement on the distance a bit. Leaves I'd like to see him. Bit. I'm rooting for him on that comebacker, but he's definitely pushed that out deeper into the circle than he meant to. And this for a two. But that's been the story. Tough to see finish, just an absolutely terrific drive. Again, we have, just like on hole eight, a very exposed basket. The wind's going to play a factor. Uh, good to see Josiah conquer that, make good on the par. And it uh, looks like we'll have a couple of tap-ins here to close out the round. Mike, what did you think about that first round? I mean, pretty great to see, you know, some of the different plays in there. The fact that I think, you know, Josiah ran that whole thing clean and they played really kind of smart and I don't know. It's these guys are fun to watch. So I'm curious. To Absolutely. See how this goes I mean, nine, nine under with all the OB 
Just an absolutely fantastic round. Antonio really well there, five under. Phil keeping it under par. Josh, I mean, if you take some of those those spit outs and spit throughs away, he's he's looking a lot better than the score indicates. He played a really sharp round there. Uh, rounding out the leaderboard, we've got Kevin Hutch uh, making it on to lead card round two with the plus one. Uh, Fitzgerald, Finelli, Lambert, Spire, Daly, and Donald closing it out. Mike, thank you so much for joining me for this. Uh, thank, thank you to you, Heiser Adam. Media for coming out to film. Uh, you've just caught the second 11 of the 2024 Long Island Open presented by Long Island Disc Golf on Heiser Media. Find Heiser Media on all the relevant socials. And uh, I hope you've... Uh, I hope you've got your popcorn out for round two. I, I highly encourage you to come back and see round two. We've got fireworks. We've got we've got lead changes. We've got everything you want to see in the disc golf round. And we hope to have you back as soon as possible.